think of race seven as a sort of moving day here in Marbula One, as one race remains after this. Teams can position themselves perfectly for a great run at the championship, but only if they perform here at the Razway. Hey everybody, welcome, I'm Greg Woods. 15 turns and 10 laps in front of this field on what is nearly a 14 and a half meter long circuit. There you see the starting lineup with Nemo on pole, Smoggy at the hazers, rapidly close behind. Lights are on. And we're rolling, a slow start for Nemo as Smoggy takes the lead. Orangen also getting swarmed from the fourth place position and falls back halfway down the field and most of the field is stuck. We have a yellow flag and a major incident in sector one. Is this going to be a safety marble? Yes it is, the safety marble is deployed. Smoggy holds the lead up front for Nemo and Lime Lime, Rapidly and Billy, but look at all of the danger up top. So many marbles are stuck. The safety marble being deployed. Let's see if the field comes through and ends up trying to push them forward. As they snake around, heavy impact here. Oh, this is all going wrong. Nearly everybody is stopped and we've got a red flag. A disaster here at the Razway. What happened there? Look at the train that is built here. And it's an accordion effect that bunches everybody up. The safety marble comes in and fails to get anybody dislodged. Here come the leaders of the race and they are bunched up. Oh my gosh, we're hearing that the race will be restarted. And Mimo is back, what is this? Hold on, we've got a track invasion now in sector three coming up the belt and they've stopped the belt. That marble is stuck on it, and everything is unfolding here. The security marbles are on either side. The conveyor belt backing up and bringing them down. You can hear the displeasure in the fans. With all focus in the first sector, that fan was easily able to get onto the track, slipping right past security. All right, we are ready to go once again. Oh my goodness, how much energy did they all deplete? Lights are on. And we're rolling again. This time, another good start from Smoggy. And Mimo falls back behind. And a duel immediately developing up front between Rapidly and Smoggy as well. But look at Mimo. Does not want to be denied. Ooh, and then right up against the attenuator in the split and loses first place to Smoggy. Orangen drafting down that little short stretch. Off the chevrons they come onto the pit straight around the hairpin and through the chicane and it will be Smoggy leading the way at the end of lap number one. The gap is going to be fairly close, under a second to Nemo, Orangen and Rapidly. And then it's Pulsar, Wispy, Shock and Snowflake. Orangen in second place, Nemo trying to get a little run here, gets the speed boost. Rapidly trying to hold off Pulsar back behind, a great move there from Snowflake to jump up into seventh place. Right there, oh, and a nudge off the wall sends Orangen going backwards from Mimo. Mimo was a little bit tired of getting hounded there. And now can turn attention to Smoggy. Up the belt they come on this figure eight Razway circuit. As we finally have a good race developing here after that awful start. Some of the competitors were able to keep going and we'll see how that fares, especially in the later laps here. Are they gonna run out of energy as a result? Wispy into second place. Goes right down that catwalk as well. Marbles, I think, sometimes get too eager to make the pass and then forget about their line. And look at this, Smoggy being challenged. The three marble race up front. Nemo, Orangen. Smoggy manages the gap right back. It caught off guard a little bit, heading down the pit straight, but a great response. Smoggy, Orangen, and Nemo now takes second place with Shock in fourth, Anarchy up into fifth. Anarchy, nowhere to be seen amongst the top 10 at the start of this race. Smoggy as it is right now, sitting in seventh place in the standings, needs a great finish here, both for himself and for the team. Snowflake back down to eighth, rapidly has lost a lot of speed and is now down to eighth as well. Coming up the belt, six tenths the difference between Smoggy and Nemo. Orangen in third with a big head of speed coming off the belt through the first sector. Orangen cutting that gap down to Nemo with every turn and now it's two lengths, they bump. 
They all opt for the inside line there. Most of them, at least. Shock takes the outside. Smoggy not even in the picture. Look at this. Already heading toward the hairpin. The Marbles snaking their way down that pit straight. Through that little sling of a chicane. Orangen having to fend off a challenge from Anarchy, who does get by across the line. Who will be first off the belt, though? Smoggy and Nemo stretch it out. It is Anarchy, Shock, and Orangen. Wispy, Pulsar, and Rapidly. The lead up front is coming down just slightly. Trouble there on the split. Smoggy loses momentum. Nemo into the lead. One momentary lapse. And now Smoggy is going to have to play catch up. Tried to make the move into the chicane. Nothing there. Nemo closed the door or else would have lost the lead. How do they exit the belt? Pretty cleanly for Nemo. Turning a four-tenths lead into a little bit more, at least visually. Anarchy, Orange, and Wispy make the top five. Slow off that turn into the hairpin. Smoggy dives to the inside and takes the lead. But Nemo is right there again. Trying to get the over-under going off the chevrons and out onto the pit straight. Who gets the better exit out of the hairpin? And it looks like Nemo. Smoggy closing the door. Anarchy starting to creep up a little bit, as is Orangen. The top four separated by a little over a second. Nemo again bunches right back up. Anybody going to take the speed boost? Nope, they just miss it. Into the hairpin where the move was made to get the lead last time. And we've got a little bit of a difference here. Nemo to the outside, Smoggy to the in. Perhaps that was more just to try to block off Anarchy, who is right on the tail of Nemo as they head to the hairpin. Through the chicane here, Orange, a nice little dive bomb move on Anarchy. Just two laps left to go, counting this one. Smoggy, Nemo, Orange, a little gap back to Anarchy. Orange trying to size up Nemo. Wispy also trying to get racy, but a train developing behind. To the outside, again goes Mimo and loses second place to Orangen. Tries to get it back off the Chevron and does. Great racing by Mimo and Orangen. And Mimo is now setting sights on Smoggy as we head into the final lap. One length apiece, all of them coming up the belt. This is still anybody's race. Smoggy, Mimo, Orangen. Bunching up here to the outside, Nemo a little nudge, and the block is laid down. Orangen gets by into second place, Smoggy tries to go down the inside, all three of them will. Orangen needing a little bit of speed, through the left-hander, off the chevron, onto the pit straight, couple of corners to go. Smoggy, Orangen, not going to be close enough, and Smoggy will not be denied. Orangen across the line in second place, Nemo and Wispy, Anarchy rounding out the top five. Rojo Dos, Rapidly, Pulsar, Razzy, Yellow, completing the top 10. The Raspberry Racers will claim ninth at their home track, but nearly six seconds back. Orangen, with some great moves, also picks up fastest lap of the race. They are gassed, especially taking that extra lap. How did they manage that? Orangen got caught up in the melee at the start. Perhaps that ended up helping a little bit, but there were some great moves here. The mistake by Mimo, the shove by Smoggy, at the hairpin to take the lead. Neck and neck, look at Mimo's move to the outside. Nudge right there, a little bump, a shock right there to let Orangen up into second place. So the Hazers move into the top spot, Orangers jump into third. Everybody who's in yellow cannot win as we head into the final race of the inaugural Marbula One season at Midnight Bay.